Welcome back guys. Let's continue to explore Seoul. We realized this is where they filmed one of the Running Man episodes and we were big fans of Running Man. If you are looking for a free activity in Seoul, this is a great place to go. We're entering a turtle ship replica. South Korea is so proud of their history that they're more than willing to share it with us for free. And we were more than happy to learn about it. How do you do a circle? <laughs> that sounded really dumb. I mean like... You, have, just... to, you have to hold it like this. Do I? And then like this. Yes. That way you don't get ink on your hands. Ah, there you go. How do you do a circle? That's an obvious one. One of the activities that you get to take part in is to learn how to write your name in Korean. This was so much fun. I think I'll go backwards, guys. Why would you go backwards? Because I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get up to here. And <laughs> I'm gonna have a couple more to go. So. <laughs> this was AK's first time writing with a brush and ink, and let's just say it took a bit of time to get used to. Writing her name. My name is so much easier than mine. I don't know where this theme song is coming from, but it sounds pretty good to me. That's my name. Are you serious? That was uh, an, a bit of an anti climax. Oh, can't see, I have, to, I have to adjust the camera angles. That's amazing. Well done. I need a stamp as well. You can stamp your work, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Ta da! Do you want to stamp on yours? Wait, wait, wait. I want my needle. front of us is Gwanghwamun. Gwanghwamun is the main and largest gate to the Gyeongbukgung Palace. I don't know how to cross. I don't know how to get there. Do we have to go there and across? Yeah, okay. That's what tourists do, walk back and forth on the pedestrian crossing. <laughs> Maybe they want to direct the flow of traffic to only that side. Yes guys, if you come here, make sure you go towards the right. Because we can't find a crossing on that side. Gyeongbokgung was the main royal palace of the Joseon dynasty and is regarded as one of the most beautiful and grandest palaces in South Korea. change from Europe. When we were in Europe, it was always so busy no matter where we went. But here, even though there are other tourists, it's, um, it's pretty nice. It's like uh, we do have quite a lot of the place to ourselves. Like if you have a look around here, it's just us. You would never get this when we were in Europe. So this is quite nice. I don't know if it's because it's really hot today, so no one's out, or 
if this is normal for the you know tourist period or it could also be because Europe is um, having their summer holidays and it's extra busy as the peak time Fine time Yeah, but it's really nice here You get to enjoy Take our time, look at all the different little details How pretty it is here Let me show you, look at the colours This is the most nice dog. Such an interesting house that we came across with a beautiful, most beautiful church house. And she's got some roosters, chickens. So lovely. I don't know if you can tell, but we are sweating so much right now. It's so hot. We just Humid. walked up. It's not hot. We just walked up these stairs behind us. I'll show you guys as soon as we turn the corner. Here's a little preview. Hidden among the busy metropolitan city of Seoul are these little alleys of traditional Korean buildings. This was one of my most favorite places to explore in Seoul. We just found a kitten. Tiny, tiny, tiny little one. So cute. Oh, so cute. Sleeping. We found more. How good is Macken? This is a strawberry lemonade. I see. And then a bulgogi burger. <gasps> Yum. Oh, it's hot. Yum. And it's got a charging thing. Yeah, that's the best thing. USB and plug. And you get a view of street outside. We are currently walking into Guangzhou Market. Gonna get some dinner, eat some street food. Quite a lot of clothes oh, already. Yeah. yeah. How cool it is here. Let's see what we can find. Guangchang Market is one of the oldest and largest traditional markets in South Korea. Yeah, you can feel the heat in here. Oh, I feel sorry for these ladies that have to work here the whole day. Oh, damn, man. Damn. Yeah. If you are a foodie, this is one of the best places to go for authentic Korean street food. But this is just too weird. It's so far on a stick, and so you just grab it, soak yourself up, wash your hands. That is odd, but so cool. <laughs> Ooh, late night snack. We just got it. Went out and got some fried chicken. And we... fried chicken. Yum, yum, yum. And we got some beer to go with it. Cass beer. Cass. One liter. Ooh, yeah. We're eating on a towel because we're on the bed <laughs> right now. And we don't want to dirty it. We don't want to dirty the guy's sheets. Yum, yum, yum. And I mixed my beer with some watermelon and soda. Because she's cool like that. I'm awesome. And I got some inspiration from when we were like in Spain and stuff. And this guy doesn't even know how to crack his chopsticks. <sighs> Our Airbnb apartment was so convenient as it was located in Hongdae, which meant multiple Korean fried chicken stores just downstairs. I love Seoul. Wondering Winnie. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more travel and food inspiration, find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget to check out my blog. If you would like to help keep this channel going, don't forget to check out my Patreon page as well. See you in the next video.